Good morning, I'm all dressed up in my Sunday best once again. Oh, my camera's dying, I better plug you guys in. Plug it in, plug it in, there you go. You charging? Is this thing on? You plugged in? Okay, so we're unloaded here now. There he goes. They had to get a big tow, tow truck guy in here to pick those big drums off my trailer. Now I gotta send this paperwork in to the load gods to prove that I delivered it because they want proof of delivery. So I'll send this into them. You know you can transflow from your phone, right? Everybody knows that? Take a picture, it's sort of like a fax or a scan and then it gets sent straight to the right people. Oh, whoops, I gotta put what trip number this is on here. Oh boy, whoops, okay. One second, what is the trip number? Okay, put this on here, trip number. So that they know what load this is. So how are you guys doing? How was your day? How was your day? Let me know, let me know. Let me scan this in. Bear with me here, people. We're getting this day going. So I have an empty flatbed behind me now, and I have a load of lumber that's waiting for me in Atchison, just west of the city. Accept that. Next, and send it in. There we go. My proof of delivery is at the office, and I can get paid, because they won't pay me without that. Because for some reason, they think that I drop everything in my backyard or something. I always need to prove that I delivered it. Big pile of garbage here off to our right behind these trees. Yikes, it's like a mountain of scrap metal. In 300 meters, turn right Is that old fridge? A <laughs> couple of washing machines. Maybe it's a recycling plant, I don't know. All right, so we have about 30 miles to go to our new pickup. The only thing is on my 70 hours that I can drive in a week, I've only got six turn hours right left. So six hours left, and that's, in that time I've got to pick up this load and get going. So I'm not going to get very far today, I'll tell you that much. So we'll probably still have a full day tomorrow, but then I'll be home until next Saturday. Which reminds me, I have to call in and make sure that this load is able to deliver on Monday. So they're not expecting me there like Wednesday all of a sudden. <laughs> loaded here when I was on dry van. We used to pick up dry van loads of lumber here all the time. Now with the flatbed, I've never been this far into their yard. <laughs> Just 
told me to follow him, so I have no idea where we're going. This is a pretty tight yard. Man, I got lots of wood here, though. So much lumber that gets sold. Oh boy, oh, there's a big yard back here yet. Look at this. Okay. Check this out. How far back are we gonna go? I have no idea what I'm picking up exactly. Something. Something of this stuff. When there's even more back there yet. Oh wow. I had no idea. Okay, so I'm probably going to load right in this open area here, I'm guessing. He's going to turn around and guide me in. I'm guessing right in the middle here. Okay. I'm good. All right. We're heavy. We are really really heavy. I'm take a look at this load. Oh. Let me show you. We are loaded right up to the max for the US weights. We're taking this all the way down to Wisconsin. Just let me plug you guys in there first. Alright. So we're all ready to rock now. I only have five hours, just under five hours remaining on my 70 hours, so I can't even go that far down the road. I'm not even gonna make it to uh, uh, Saskatoon. I might make it to North Battleford, somewhere in there, and then I'll have to do the rest tomorrow. I believe there's a gym on the way that I could stop at today, because if I don't stop today, I'll have to stop tomorrow. I'd like to stop at both of them, you know, today and tomorrow. That'd be great, because I haven't been Again, since when? When was the last time we were at the gym? Was it in Michigan? Oh, that's a long time. That's like five days again. Oh, man. No wonder I'm feeling kind of like a noodle. I got to get back there. I'll see if I can swing by the one. I think it's in Vegreville, Alberta. Al Alberta? <laughs> Vegreville, Alberta. There's about an hour and 15 minutes east of here. It's on the way back. I think we're gonna have to do that. Oh, okay. It is so easy, so easy to make excuses about why I don't wanna go to the gym today. Oh, we'll go tomorrow. Oh, you know what? It's okay if I miss another day, not a big deal. And tomorrow, same thing. If I have the opportunity and the time to go, I go, that's my rule. Gotta make it work. Just go when you want to go, otherwise you're never going to go. No one ever really wants to go to the gym. Everyone would much rather be at home eating pizza, watching movies. Unless you're Arnold Schwarzenegger, he'd probably rather be at the gym, but... You know, not everybody's Arnold Schwarzenegger. I can't speak for everybody, I guess, but for myself anyways, if I have a choice, I'm going to want to skip the gym. But hey, hello, hello. Hello, excuse me. I was on the right of way. You were pulling out of your parking spot. Excuse me. I'll forgive you, because I'm a forgiving person, because I was taught to forgive. No, not you. No, I only have so much forgiveness. Rolling across the prairies of Alberta right now. You know what I've noticed? I actually get better fuel economy when I'm fully loaded. Weird, right? I guess maybe just the momentum of all the weight just pushes me forward, pushes me down the road. I notice that when I have light loads or no load at all, I actually get worse fuel economy than when I'm fully loaded. As long as I don't have a, a load that catches a lot of air, like this load of lumber, the air can just stream right around me, right? It doesn't have anywhere for the air to create drag. But I'm fully loaded and I'm just sailing along here doing better than I was doing yesterday with the wind pushing me. And today the wind's not even pushing me. It's a calm day. It's 
interesting. So, uh, is it Vegreville, the town that we're stopping in here? What's this town called again? Yeah, Vegreville, Alberta. Just a couple of minutes up the road here. I'm gonna stop at the Snap Fitness, lift some stuff up and put it back down. And we'll probably make it to North Battleford, I'm, I'm thinking. It looks like I can barely make it there. I have three and a half hours left on my 70 hour clock. And I'm gonna need about every one of those minutes to get to North Battleford. But uh, maybe we'll stop, nah, Lloydminster. I could stop in Lloydminster, but that's a little too long of a day tomorrow then. Not too little, too long of a day. I could do it, but if we can go a little further today, why not? I mean, we've still got plenty of day ahead of us. This used to be the actual uh, Trans Canada that went right through the highway, uh, highway 16, went right through Vegreville here until they built the bypass where the four lane now goes around the town. So I've never actually been in this town, but I've driven past it hundreds of times. Very nice. So close to the beaten path, right? So close, but just off. These kind of towns always remind me of Radiator Springs from that movie Cars. You know, they used to be a real hopping, happening place, lots of traffic, and then they built the bypass so that everybody could save two minutes. <laughs> but this town is still thriving. This isn't like Radiator Springs at all. It's, it's still thriving. Lots going on here. So Snap Fitness is supposed to be off to our right here. There it is. All right, can I get in there with my truck? I probably shouldn't. I'm loaded right now. I probably shouldn't go in there. I could fit in there. Doesn't say no trucks. But their driveway is designed in such a way that it obviously means no trucks. Okay, so we'll go around, we'll park in the back. All right. Can I park on the street here? It looks like it. Yeah, I'll just park on the street right here. There we go. Perfect. See, I don't even have to go and mess up anybody's parking lot. Snap Fitness is right on our right here now, so we're behind the building. I'll have to walk all the way around to get in, but whatever. I move up a little bit. What am I doing? Move up. I can go all the way up to this yellow paint on the curb there. Got to leave room for the fire hydrant though. There we go. All right, so Diesel, it's right there on the other side of you. See it? See, it? it's, it's right, Snap Fitness. Diesel, you gonna come and lift stuff up with me? No, I'm good, man, I'm an old man. I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna have my mid-afternoon nap. You just woke up from a nap, you want another one? That was my afternoon nap, this is my mid-afternoon nap. Can't keep up with all your naps, man. Hopefully nobody bugs you here, Diesel. Sometimes people freak out when they see a dog in the truck. <laughs> Once I left Diesel in the truck while I went inside, this was actually in Steinbeck, and I forget where I went inside, but I went, I went somewhere for like 15 minutes. I left Diesel in the truck. It wasn't even that hot of a day or anything, but uh, it was summertime, and the windows were like halfway down. They were down far enough that he could stick his whole head out the window, and somebody called in on me and tried to get me in trouble that I left my dog in the truck. People. First off, this is his home. He lives here. He lives here with me. Am I gonna call in on you when you leave your dog inside your house and you go out visiting or you go to work or wherever you go? First off, you probably leave your dog alone all day while you go to work. I take my dog to work with me. He's with me all the time. Calls in because my dog's in the truck. He, then I go out and look at the truck. He's sticking his head all the way out the window, just giving me this big smile. You were perfectly fine, eh, Diesel? That was what, like two years ago now? Can't believe some people, they just panic right away. He's fine, he's fine. All right. Let's do this. Should take about 45 minutes to an hour. You'll be fine, Diesel. I'll leave the windows open for you again. Don't have to worry about anybody getting in here because Diesel will literally bite their fingers off if they stick one finger in here. I'm serious, he's ultra protective when I'm not around. Or when he's in like guarding mode, he gets pretty scary. <laughs> he won't let anyone near the truck, never mind touch it. 
you touch the truck. I can always tell when someone got too close to the truck because everything I left on my dash and everything is just all over the place because he just jumps up on the dash, throws everything off. I don't discourage it. I don't even, he, he doesn't get in trouble if he does that. That's what he's supposed to do. Right, Teasel? That's your job. And you do it well. So if you're gonna have a nap, at least sleep lightly, okay? If you hear anything, you let them know who's boss, okay? If anybody sticks their fingers in here, you bite them off. All right, I won't, you won't get in trouble if you do that, all right? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it was a good workout. I know I got nothing to brag about yet, but feels good. Feels really good. I can barely lift my arms right now. They're just like flubber. That's good. That means I worked them real good. And my legs too. Whenever I do my legs, <laughs> walking to the truck from the gym seems like it takes, uh, it seems like it's like 10 miles. Okay, so we've been here almost an hour and a half. It's time to get rolling. Let's see if we can make it to North Battleford. North Battleford is, let me see. Google, give me your knowledge. Give me your wisdom, oh wise one. North Battleford, I wanna get there. How far away is it? Learn me. Okay, here it is, here it is. Directions, come on Google, don't disappoint me. Two hours, 47, 288 kilometers, and the, the speed I go, a little over three hours. And I have three hours and 17 minutes available to me. I think we can make it. I think we can make it. If I gotta speed up a little bit, I'll speed up a little bit, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna go park at the Petro Pass there overnight. We'll get going tomorrow, and then it's about a 10 hour drive home from there tomorrow. Who's talking to me? Who goes there? What do you want? Oh, it's an email. What happened, what happened? What happened? Oh, something I ordered from Amazon was delivered. Nice to know. Cool. You want to know what my favorite part about headed, heading back east is? One second. You want to know what my favorite part about heading back east is? I don't have to stare into the sun all evening. It's gonna be great. We're headed well, we're pointed west right now, but it's because we got to go around the block here and head back east. I've been driving into that sun for four days. Every evening, it's right in my face. Okay, okay, go. Go, go, Chicky. There you go. See, I can't go until you go. I need a little bit more room. So it's funny when people are waiting for you at a corner they're clearly in your way right you need to swing wide and you can't get around the corner with them there but they're still waiting for you to go first like they're trying to be polite and courteous so they're like no no you go no you go and I'm looking at them like no you have to go I can't go you're in the way no you first I insist you need to move <laughs> This is gonna be a tight corner here too, yikes. Gotta turn right here. Hopefully nobody cuts in beside me on my right. Looks like people are smart. This is Alberta, people are smart here. They know what they're doing. Okay, nobody's, nobody, nobody's coming, nobody's coming. You guys aren't gonna go around them. Are you turning? See, this big truck is turning. The pickup behind him, I don't know if he's turning or not because he doesn't have his signal on. Okay, so you are going straight. Well, why, do you, why didn't you just go around him then? I'm so confused. Okay, nobody hit me. Nobody get in my way, here I go. Here I go. Toy, toy. Oh, I feel so good now. Oh. It's like whenever you leave the gym, it's better than knocking back an ice cold beer after a hard day of work, you know? It's, it's better than that, it's just, oh, well. Depending on the day, I guess I should say it's not better than that, but it's It's better for you than that <laughs> Beggarville, oh look at those little town, like those houses over there, they're all identical the Little love shacks, oh it's a motel Oh that's cool, if you stay at that motel in Beggarville, you get your own little mini love shack Cool No noisy neighbors or 
the neighbors won't hear you, whichever side of that you're on. Cool. What an odd tower off on our left there. Look at that. Don't mind this guy jaywalking. It's weird. It's like two towers that they built into one. Or is it two towers individually? I don't know. Why, why do these things amuse me? I'm amused by the strangest things. I think I'm just excited to be headed home. I think that's what's going on. These orange pillars mark the border between Alberta and Saskatchewan. I always wonder still, when you live in a town like Lloydminster, where half of the town is in one province and half of the town is in the other province, and one province has higher taxes than the other province, why does everybody even bother living on the, on the side with higher taxes? Why don't you just move to the side with lower taxes? And is the education the same on both sides? If one side's getting a Saskatchewan education, the other side's getting an Alberta education. Is there differences in funding? You would think that one side has got to be better than the other. They can't be exactly the same. Any of you live in Lloydminster? What's the differences when you live on one side or the other? How about registering your vehicles? Is it cheaper to register your vehicles if you live on one side rather than the other? They must be pretty equal. Otherwise, like I said, everybody would just move to the other side of town <laughs> where it's cheaper. That's what I would do. Am I the only one thinking this way? Can't be. Why do I think of these things? I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. I'm a weird guy. But these are the things that go through my mind on a daily basis. I'm not normal. I don't know what's wrong with me. You gotta think of them, right? That, to me, that's normal. That's what I would think of. I want you to pay close attention to this truck right beside me as he pulls forward. Look at his mirrors. Look at his mirrors. That is the Dodge Ram and he doesn't have his tow mirrors out. What? Oh, that one does though. He makes up for it. Okay, well, in his defense, he needs them because he's got that big thing on the back. It is very rare already these days that you find a Dodge Ram that doesn't have his tow mirrors out. Sometimes you'll even see Dodge Rams that don't even have towing packages on them. They don't even have a hitch. They got their tow mirrors out. 